Alrighty YouTube, it's your boys the Yuxus, and in today's video I wanted to talk about my honest thoughts when it came to soda. I realized I haven't done it and obviously it's actually helpful for me now that I didn't do it because we have the solar rate and the new stuff. Also there's no webcam in this video because I don't have a shirt on and y'all don't want to see your boy naked clearly. Right? I mean I have pants on obviously and my underwear but, or my boxers but yeah anyways when it comes to soda I feel like my thoughts on her the entire time has oh like it still feels the same but obviously now with the solar raid rewards right we have solar raid rewards now that guarantee you the um i think i used it unfortunate that guarantee you the uh what's it called the guaranteed box right and stuff like that and if you are struggling with solar raid right they guarantee you uh oh my gosh where are the rewards are where the reward this right now you are guaranteed a selection box so if you are looking for another team because you're not able to clear it maybe having that shotgun team isn't all that bad now would i recommend you to summon for this character my only reckon the only way i'm going to recommend you summon for this character is if you have access to the shotgun team besides that this character really doesn't necessarily add value into the game besides from what she's doing with the shotgun team if you want to be honest just as a solo based unit she's no different from trani where it's just the same case of they just end up doing damage right but it's not like a must sum they just do damage don't get me wrong soda does do damage she's not like a garbage character or anything like that when it comes to her dps she does do damage but the thing is it's really pointless to summon for this character if you're not going to use her with the shotgun team because you're not using her outside of the shotgun team, right? There are some things I like about this character and there are some things I don't like about the character, right? At first when I read this, I kind of liked it. I mean, I liked it, but then I don't really like it, right? So when you have more than 30 stacks of the uh, golden chips, you guarantee get five extra seconds to your full time, right? I use Moldernia a lot. So having five seconds added on top of an extra 20 for me is just like it's boring because all these buffs that these characters have do not last for 20 seconds right i want to have an efficient full burst rotation with the buffs basically being active like as soon as possible right and a lot of these buffs don't proc unless you use the burst skill or you enter a full burst and with a full burst lasting 20 seconds and buffs lasting 5 to 10 maybe 15 seconds it's like it's too much that's if i'm running her with modernia if i'm running her by herself or with anybody else that's not modernia you still get that extra five seconds and it still affects people like litter right who you know gives you a five second buff or you know some of these characters will give you a buff that lasts for 10 seconds right i just don't like having a 15 second burst time up uh, 15 second burst skill full burst time skill i want to say every time i personally don't like that but maybe you guys do right um i do think her damage is great like i said before i do think the way they went about making her character like the golden chips i don't find it to be a problem attack buff or the attack damage buff the crit damage like none of this is a problem the only thing i dislike really is just simply the fact that you have to kind of use her with the shotgun team and then also um the full burst time now would i recommend dupes for her if you are summoning right or if you did summon and you want to you know I guess the answer is already no from what I just said. But if you want the wallpaper, her wallpaper is good enough for you to go for LV3. I mean, you guys should feel comfortable in this game. If you want her wallpaper, get the wallpaper. It's really up to you at the end of the day. It's not really up to anybody else. So if you really want the wallpaper, then by all means, get the wallpaper. That's what I say, at least. But if you want me to be honest, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, who is better between her and Bunny Alice since both of them are out? Now, I made the video already for Alice and I gave the answer there. But if you did not watch it, if you forgot, I do think Alice, the Bunny Alice, is the better character out of the two. I mean, she's just a, she's a healer, right? She's a healer who adds value to the best team in the game, which is Crown, right? Or the best, one of the best characters in the game who's very influential in this game, which is Crown, right? Bunny Alice is on a whole nother level. I'm geeking. <laughs> Jack W. But yeah, no, he's better than... Okay, I don't know why my game is so choppy. Let me know down below in the comments. Is your game choppy as well? I swear ever since this update started, the game has been choppy. Um, Yeah, no. But yeah, Soda, not bad. She's really just another maid privity. Really. Like, I'm not seeing a difference from her damage output and a difference from maid privity's uh, damage output. The only time you see a damage output difference is if you're fighting one enemy with Soda. Um... 
But besides that, like if you're fighting AOEs, mobs, you're basically either on par or mid for is just slightly higher, right? Another thing is her only being useful for one team necessary. It, it's not really like I want to say they didn't really design the character saying you have to run her with said and said and said characters, right? But it's just there's no point to use her if you're not running her with these said characters. And I kind of don't like that as well. I don't like when they make characters that only work if you have specific characters. Now, you might be like, but Zeoxys, what about Crown? And the thing for Crown is that her thing is really optional, right? I guess you could say the same thing about Soda, but her, like, attack damage buff for the, what? what 20 percent for seven seconds that's an optional thing that's an optional thing that's not, i'm gonna still beat the game regardless if i have that or i don't but when it comes to soda it's like what do you gain from using her without having all the shotgun buffers all the shotgun supporters who are going to give her that additional crit rate because the other two characters on her team tov and leona give her the additional crit rate she's missing right um the other character on her team like uh, Bunny Alice gives Tove full stacks. I think it's a bug right now, actually. Uh, that's what I was told. Um, what was I saying? Alice gives Tove the like stacks, which gives her the attack speed, and then she has the attack speed increases. So much going on with her team. It's really just I don't really like it much. I don't really like when they kind of make you for force to use all these different and it's like these specific characters right there's no replacement for tove there's no replacement for leona it's just you have to have both of them there's no replacement for alice you have to have i mean technically there are replacements for alice like if you're going for just a stack the quote-unquote stack miko works just fine but the thing is mika stacking thing takes a lot longer than alice is right alice is actually very efficient with her stacking mika isn't so you can't really replace these characters even that third dps like you could put characters like noir on the team my team my thing is really lagging holy smokes you can put noir on the team right you can put who else is a shotgun character that's used shotgun who else you know not putting me privity that's that shit you could put noir for that quote-unquote dps or drake maybe but you're not really going to there's just honestly no point so this character she's fine i would say put her on the wish list right if you want wait till they get on the wish list and put them on the wish list right um it just makes the most sense to get them through there or you can even get them through you know moles or the friendship summons wherever you want to get them but realistically there is honestly no reason for you to summon for this character she's not bad but she's literally quite not needed like literally i would say she's more useful than trani but i would definitely say she's like on par with trani when it comes to like you don't even need them like you ever you never need to summon for her literally unless you're running a shotgun team but you guys let me know down below your experience with this character right i know this one is a bit overdue since she came out way before alice and i have alice's out before hers but you guys let me know what you think down below it's your boy zioxis i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i'm out peace